हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इफ यू आर फ्रॉम चंडीगढ़ और नॉट फ्रॉम चंडीगढ़ इट डज नॉट मैटर दिस वीडियो विल एक्साइट यू एज वी डिस्कस द अपकमिंग मेगा प्रोजेक्ट्स इन द मोस्ट वेल डिजाइन सिटी ऑफ इंडिया चंडीगढ़ ड्यू टू इट्स ब्यूटिफुली डिजाइन स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड वेल एस्टेब्लिश्ड रोड चंडीगढ़ इज कंसिडर्ड एज द फाइनेस्ट स्मार्ट सिटी ऑफ इंडिया इवन बिफोर द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट टू कोर द मिशन टू डेवलप स्मार्ट सिटीज इन इंडिया इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन Before we proceed any further I would request you to please like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon positively to remain updated Chandigarh is a city district and union territory in India that serves as the joint capital of the two neighboring states of Punjab and Haryana Chandigarh is bordered by the state of Punjab to the north the west and the south and by the state of Haryana to the east It is considered to be the part of the Chandigarh capital region or Greater Chandigarh which includes Chandigarh and the city of Panchkula and cities of Kharar, New Chandigarh, Mohali and Zirakpur in Punjab. It is located 260 km north of New Delhi and 229 km southeast of Amritsar. Chandigarh was one of the early planned cities in post independent India and is internationally known for its architecture and urban design the master plan of the city was prepared by swiss french architect le corbusier most of the government buildings and housing in the city were designed by the chandigarh capital project team headed by le corbusier in 2015 an article published by bbc named chandigarh as one of the few master plan cities in the world to have succeeded in terms of combining monumental architecture cultural growth and modernization The prime responsibilities of the civic body are to ensure cleanliness and sanitation in the city, illumination of street lights, maintenance of parks and sewerage disposal. The city has both brick and pipe sewers laid in four phases. In September 2020, the civic body announced that it would upgrade and renew the 50-year-old sewerage system. Interestingly, Chandigarh has been rated as one of the wealthiest towns of India. A significant percentage of Chandigarh's population therefore consists of people who are either working for one of these governments or have retired from government services mainly armed forces. For this reason Chandigarh is often called a pensioner's paradise. Ordnance Cable Factory of the Ordnance Factories Board has been set up by the government of India in Chandigarh. There are about 15 medium to large scale industries including two in the public sector. In addition, Chandigarh has over 2500 units registered under the small scale sector. The important industries are paper manufacturing, basic metals and alloys and machinery. Other industries are relating to food products, sanitary ware, auto parts, machine tools, pharmaceuticals and electrical appliances. Having understood the various important features of Chandigarh, let us move ahead to explore the top 5 biggest mega projects coming up in Chandigarh city. We'll move in the descending order depending on the nature of the mega project. Let's unfold the glorious list. Fifth up is the Chandigarh Ring Road. Chandigarh city has undertaken a smart planning route to plan ring roads in the city. In order to achieve traffic decongestion on city roads, Chandigarh administration has proposed a plan to accommodate the traffic volumes of the city on the ring roads which are still under the planning stage of project management. The 200 feet wide ring road project to decongest Zirakpur by easing Shimla bound traffic has had no headway with the National Highways Authority of India which is yet to get the approval for the 800 crore project. The 14 km road is to originate from Ambala Zirakpur highway pass through Peer Muchalla Sanoli Gazipur Nagla and all Mohali villages before joining the sector 26 27 dividing road in Panchkula. Once the road is completed Shimla bound traffic can take this road bypass the bottleneck at Zirakpur and join the Shimla highway at the end of Panchkula hence the project will greatly help reduce traffic congestion on the arterial roads of Chandigarh Madhya Marg and Dakshin Marg the project has been implemented to prevent around 1.5 lakh vehicles from Punjab and Haryana from entering the city daily Chandigarh's master plan also proposes this road to divert the interstate traffic around the city for better traffic management in august 2017 then union home minister rajnath singh had approved the project during a meeting of the northern zonal council in chandigarh talking about the current status of the project the 200 feet wide ring road project to decongest zirakpur by easing shimla bound traffic has had no headway with the national highways authority of india which is yet to get the approval for the 800 crore project as already said 
Thus, the project is yet to begin and has already exceeded the deadline. Hopefully, authorities will solve the hurdles at the earliest. Fourth is the Chandigarh Integrated Command and Control Center. For effective monitoring of traffic in the city, the UT administration is all set to complete the Integrated Command and Control Center by January next year. After the commissioning of ICCC, around 300 CCTV cameras will be installed at various junctions in the city which will catch the traffic violators live. A total of 2000 cameras will go live in a phased manner at 287 junctions in the city. As of now, these cameras are being used for data collection on a trial basis and invoices will be issued after the completion of the project. High-tech cameras are being installed at about 287 locations for real-time monitoring of traffic junctions and other important buildings of the city such as waterworks, parks, government, hospitals, community centers, parking spaces and schools. The camera will catch traffic violations including jumping red light, overspeeding, driving without a seatbelt or face mask, parking at zebra crossings and talking on the phone while driving. However, these cameras will not chalan vehicles like ambulances. The cameras will record all the traffic violations and then the police can issue chalans. Monitoring of traffic will be made possible with adaptive traffic control system which has been installed at 40 junctions with highest traffic volume. Third in the position is the Chandigarh Master Plan 2031. The master plan area spreads across the entire 114 square kilometers of Chandigarh city along with the town of Mani Majra which has grown from a small settlement to an area under extreme pressure for development. This is because of its prime location on the Chandigarh Kalka Highway, its proximity to Chandigarh and the expansion of existing towns and development of new towns in Haryana. The Chandigarh Master Plan 2031 proposes the redensification of several areas to meet basic infrastructure amenities requirements due to the increase in population. Rights have proposed an integrated multimodal mass transport system in the city which will have metro rail, bus rapid transit system, commuter rail system and a normal city bus system. This will boost connectivity to nearby towns and villages and cater to commuting needs in near future. The master plan 2031 does not include 26 square kilometers of area of the Sukhna Wildlife Sanctuary on the north of the capital complex which has been preserved as the no construction zone. The main city and the peripheral areas were intended to have clearly defined functions as per the original plan enunciated by Le Corbusier. The main city was meant to be the container and the periphery the provider. However, now the peripheral areas have succumbed to pressure from the growing population and have been developed into full-fledged urban sprawls with a lot of illegal construction. The Master Plan 2031 intends to establish the original city peripheral concept. Second in this list is the upcoming Chandigarh Railway Station redevelopment project. Chandigarh Railway Station will be developed into a world-class transport hub to offer the superior travel experience to passengers. These vacant land parcels which are part of the Chandigarh Railway Station redevelopment are suitable for a mixed-use development that will accentuate real estate prospects in the vicinity. The redevelopment will also boost tourism, generate employment and have a cascading impact on the local economy as well. As far as the current status is concerned, this large-scale project is in limbo currently as the Ministry of Railways has decided to shut down the Indian Railway Station Development Corporation in principle leaving the plan to redevelop the Chandigarh Railway Station again in a lurch. First position has been grabbed by the Chandigarh Hyperloop project. Punjab will be the second state in the country to get the Hyperloop mass transit system after Maharashtra which is a pod-like vehicle travelling through a tunnel at a speed higher than that of an aircraft. It is proposed to be set up between Amritsar and Chandigarh at a cost of 56,000 crore reducing the travel time between both cities to just 35 to 40 minutes. The state government signed a MOU with US-based company Virgin Hyperloop 1. The US company has tied up with a leading UAE-based company to bring this ultra-modern and untested technology to India. The prototypes of the pods to be used here are being tested in Nevada in the US and in the future they are likely to run in Toronto and Dubai also. Each pod has a sitting capacity of 28 people and will travel at a speed of 1100 to 1300 km per hour in a tunnel-like structure with almost no resistance and very low atmospheric pressure. This tunnel can be underground or overground depending on the availability of land and other factors. 
Thus, the distance between Chandigarh and Amritsar can be covered in a time span of 30 to 40 minutes compared to the present travel time of 5 hours by road. However, the project is yet to go under construction as concerns over its technicalities are yet to be discussed and given a green signal. With this, we have come to the end of this video. Chandigarh will continue to prosper in the times to come without a doubt. Over the years, it has taken everyone by surprise owing to its outstanding beautiful structures. Please like, share and subscribe the channel to remain updated and also press the bell icon positively. Coming up next is the upcoming mega projects in the Diamond City Surat. Also, the link of the mega projects in Punjab has also been posted in the description. Please watch that video too and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Jai Hind.